We know from last lectures with state feedback we can bring the output to zero asymptotically. So we need to choose gain f properly to ensure reference tracking. The problem we have no direct feedback on the tracking error. And we know also from last lectures that this solution will be not robust with respect to model uncertainties and disturbances. This problem can be solved, for example, by using state controller with integral action. Let us simplify and clarify the whole thing in an example. Let us consider this unstable PT2 system with this unstable step response. First, we control the system with the P controller and calculate the closed loop. And if we plot the step response for this closed loop system with P controller, we will get this step response, but with oscillations. After that, we can calculate the state controller with set point adjustments as we did in the last lecture to calculate the controller feedback matrix, the set point adjustments factor, and at the end, the control system. Then we can plot all these three systems the system controlled with the P controller, with the state controller, and with set point adjustments. And we can see here, this was the controlled system with P controller. Then with the state controller, we still have error. And with set point adjustment, the error is minimized, but this without disturbance. And now we can use the state feedback controller, but with integral action. For this, we consider now this plant, SUS, with this transfer function as a state space model. First, we calculate the state controller with set point adjustment as in the last example or in the last lectures. Here is the system SUS S, the system underscore Z from the last example supplemented by a second input for the disturbance. Now, before we plot this for the state controller with set point adjustment, we calculate the state controller with pre integrator or with the integral action. The integrator with the state xi and the gain ki is added to the path so that the following state representation of the path results for the calculation of the extended feedback vector k, ka. For the controlled plant with disturbance, this is the state differential equation from W to Y. Now we generate the system SUS F according to this equation and use it to calculate the extended feedback vector K, K, A. Then we use it to create the controlled system SUS ZF according to this equation with f equal to this. And we calculate this in MATLAB command window. Now we generate time and input signals to simulate these systems. The set point is a step function at 0 seconds. The disturbance should now take effect after 15 and after 35 seconds. And we can plot the reference and disturbance behavior. This will be the disturbance. And we see here with the blue step response by using the state controller with set point adjustments that since the feedback is proportional with K, a disturbance cannot be compensated. 
state controller then with integral action must be designed.